Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the AVH Pro channel. Now, I always get a lot of complaints about the Vetsum radio quality, especially on my Vetsum full flight videos. And I've made a video about this before, about the quality, how you can deal with that. I, if you have problems with um, Vetsum radio quality, I would definitely want you to refer to my video 8 tips on how to deal with this problem. Uh, but there's even bigger problem with Vets from radios, I think, and that's latency. And I'm going to demonstrate that in today's video. But first of all, just want to let you know kind of what the real-world VHF radio kind of sounds like. So I'm now tuned on uh, Skipple Approach. There are probably some aircraft flying overhead, so I can just um, turn up the volume and see if I can uh, receive, some, receive some aircraft. And, uh, you know, kind of get an idea of what the real-world quality is. Now, of course... These conditions are ideal, the weather is good, there's no terrain, um, but there might be circumstances like when there are certain terrain features or weather that could distort the signal, um, but in general the VHF quality is pretty good and better than what you will hear on VETSIM. So let's take a listen, maybe we can receive some aircraft on this frequency. Just have to wait a little probably. Um, you won't hear the controller. Uh, because that's too far away and that radio signal is just not uh, traveling right over the ground like uh, radio stations but the signal is you know, transmitted in the air but the aircraft that was one <laughs> but the aircraft do transmit like from a high altitude so that's, those are easy to receive so let's hope for another maybe a read pack so this one kind of sounds far away so it really depends on the distance as well how good the quality is but maybe if there's an aircraft flying right overhead we might be able to get a quite a good signal so there was an aircraft that was not able to uh, hear very well probably that because that aircraft is just far in the distance so there are certain factors which definitely influence the quality of the radio uh, this kind of sounds like vets but when there's an aircraft right overhead that sounds already a little better, an easy jet. Alright. So as you can hear, the the quality is not really that good today maybe because of the weather maybe these aircraft are just far away uh, but when there's an aircraft overhead it's definitely a lot clearer but it's influenced by a lot of factors so don't think that the Vetsum, the Vetsum radios are that bad it's really not um, you know sometimes it is really bad but see some some pilots are not even uh, very well to understand at a distance but I bet when you're actually in the aircraft when you're actually in controller and uh, when you can receive yeah, that was a lot better that wasn't good examples so i'm going to turn the volume down now but so as you can see uh, the quality you know it really depends on a lot of factors but the bigger problem is latency and that's uh, what i want to talk about next so the thing with Vetsum radios is that your voice is traveling over the internet rather than uh, through a radio signals. And these radio signals are very fast. They basically travel at the speed of light. In vacuum they do. Uh, in air, you know, it's a little bit slower. Maybe the processing speed of the receiving uh, hardware, you know, it takes a little while. But it's definitely the latency is not comparable to what the latency that you get uh, when um, transmitting your voice over the internet. So I'm just going to demonstrate very quickly. Uh, by sending using this transceiver and then you will probably see uh, this signal appear up here so once i click that signal just you know is received immediately there's no delay even though there's of course only one meter of distance between this antenna and the other but the same applies when for example you're an aircraft 10 kil kilometers above uh, the signal is just instant uh, so let's take a look how it goes So as you can see, the signal just, as soon as I click, it's immediately received by the other transceiver. And, um, you know, on Vetsim, <laughs> it works a whole lot different. Your voice travels over the internet. So the way it works with radios is when one pilot transmits, it's immediately received by all the others. Whereas on Vetsim, uh, for example, taking a situation where there are two pilots, pilot A and B, 
And pilot A wants to send a message to the controller, so he starts talking. Um, and then his voice, you know, very, very simply put, you know, has to travel to some kind of server, and then it's distributed to the other pilots and to the controllers. So while the voice of the pilot A is traveling to the other pilots and pilot B, pilot B also wants to talk, but uh, the message of pilot A has not reached pilot B yet. So pilot B starts starts talking. Uh, not knowing that pilot A had already started talking. So, as you can imagine, you know, uh, pilot B assumed or realized that pilot A was already talking, and then he has to quit talking. Uh, so, then what you will hear on the Vetsum radio frequencies is two people talking at the same time. And, uh, you know, that creates a lot of chaos. Uh, you can, you know, especially when there's only one radar controller, for example, and when that controller is. Uh, you know, has to do all the, you know, the tower, the ground, the delivery even. And when there are a lot of pilots, it can easily get out of hand. And that's because your voice has to travel over the internet. And each and every pilot on that voice server will reach your message with delay. And there's also a little bit of difference between each and every pilot, depending on your uh, internet connection and your ping to that server. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. So whereas this signal was instant, like this, I think it went out already because it doesn't have very good battery but uh, you know <laughs> whereas this signal is direct and very instant the signal on the Vatson radios is not so please keep that in mind so a few tips to deal with this uh, situation because you will encounter it when you fly in Vatson um, the first thing I would recommend is to you know as always when you go on a frequency and when you need to transmit so for example when you need to um, you know, report with the controller that you are on his or her frequency, just wait a little bit. You know, I sometimes wait up to a minute uh, when it's busy before I start talking. So I kind of get an idea of the situation, how busy it is, and it definitely allows you to make sure that you're not interrupting an instruction because when there's an instruction being given, there's always a gap. So there's an instruction from the controller, there's a gap because there's latency because of the internet travel speed. And then there's a reply from the pilot. So this latency is really a big problem. So just keep in mind that you might be tuning in in this gap and you do not start talking immediately because then you know you will start talking while the controller is trying to give some kind of instruction and of course that goes out of hand. Um, so make sure you take the time, that's very important. Um, another tip that I would want to give you if, if you are in a situation where there's just a lot of traffic like I just described and everyone is talking uh, through each other you know without any uh, yeah, you know uh, without uh, being polite towards some one another in a way like uh, having some discipline when it comes to uh, radio use um, you know let the controller do his or her thing you know the controller will be able to see who is on their frequency and um, you know if you're especially if you're arriving or you're climbing on a sit there's really no need to immediately report with the controller when it's very busy. So, um, you know, just give it some time. Uh, the controller will likely just contact you. And, you know, sometimes the controller will say, okay, one at a time, I'm now gonna give an instruction to this pilot, then to this pilot. And likely the controller will also do, just give you an instruction, okay? So that's just kind of a deal with it, to deal with it. Um, so for example, if I'm flying uh, inbound Norku, I'm approaching Amsterdam, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just wait, I'll just fluff, follow the star as planned and then at probably some point when the controller has dealt with the situation, has given everyone an instruction, he will probably contact me or there's enough room to contact, uh, yeah, for me to contact that controller, okay? So just um, um, let the controller do its thing when it's necessary. Um, another tip I would want to give you is just keep your transmission short. <laughs> You know, on the Vetson radios, you can pack a whole lot less instructions uh, per minute than you can do on the real world videos because there's no latency with these radios. But on Vetson there is, so the amount of instructions per minute is a lot less. Um, so just keep your um, phrases short. You know, for example, when you're flying in Mount Norku again, you don't have to say like, Amsterdam radar, KLM 1234, uh, in Mount Norku, passing flight level 260 for flight level 240. Uh, with you, you know, something like that. That's not even correct phraseology. 
Um, you know, that's a very long sentence. You know, if there's a, if you know there's a lot of traffic, something like um, you know Amsterdam radar kilo one two three four inbound Norku. That's all you have to say. It's a lot shorter. It allows for more instructions per minute for the controller and for other pilots. So just keep that in mind, okay? Last tip I want to give you, and this is kind of a pro tip, only if you're experienced with uh, flying on VATSIM. Um, that is, you know, at, at some point when you've uh, have flown on VATSIM for a few years, and especially at particular airports, you kind of know when an instruction is finished. So you kind of get a feeling when the sentence of the controller ends. So for example, when I'm climbing out of Amsterdam, <laughs> the most common instruction that I get from the departure controller after contacting me, him is, uh, you know, climb flight level 130. So what I usually do, I kind of already anticipate when the sentence is gonna end, that the controller is speaking, and then I already push the push the dog button so that once he's finished talking and I can start replying immediately. And this kind of reduces the latency uh, between each and every transmission. And now I, I would not recommend to keep pushing that push the dog button you know, throughout the, the transmission of the controller. Uh, of course, that's gonna create a lot of distortion, so you don't wanna do that. But, uh, you know, once you get a feeling of that, you might be able to do this to kind of to reduce the latency between each and every transmission. So, um, for example, when uh, I get the instruction climb level 130, when I hear 30, you know, the last words of that sentence, then I usually already push the button and then I can immediately start talking and reply. So. That's kind of how I uh, deal with the latency and I hope these tips have helped you out and um, that you can have a uh, good example of um, how it works, how, uh, how the radio sounds in the real world and um, you know why there's a lot of latency and why that is a problem. So this will always be a problem. I mean, your voice has to, has to travel over the internet unless like, we have like super duper internet speeds at some point, but of course that's not gonna happen. Of course, every region has its own internet speeds. I know a lot of guys in Australia <laughs> don't have a very quick internet speed. So, you know, it really depends on uh, on the internet. So uh, yeah, just keep it in mind and hope these tips have helped you out. I'd like to thank you for watching this video here on the Aviation Pro channel. Um, make sure to check out my Patreon video if you would like to support the channel. It would be very much appreciated. And um, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for some uh, fats and full flights uh, that are coming up. So. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.